Hey YouTube, um, thanks for tuning in and thanks for your patience. Sorry it's been a while since I put out a video. I'm without my trusty sidekick, so I'm doing a selfie. Um, had some free time and thought I'd update you. So today's talk is mostly about uh, buying things that are kind of um, useful only in a certain season of the year and uh, to talk about how I, <coughs> excuse me, how I handle returns um, because uh, I've had some comments asking about that. So how do, what do I want to talk about? Um, the season stuff. So I just want to show you some examples of what I mean. Um, if you remember back in the day, um, I bought a whole bunch of sweaters and jackets. Um, so here's a Woolrich jacket. So I, for each of these items I'm going to show you, I paid no more than three to six dollars. Um, so bought this jacket for again three to six dollars and I sold it today for thirty three dollars of course I held on to it for six to seven months but when it came time like it it made me the money so same with this Abercrombie ja jacket sold it for forty five dollars this Woolrich sweatshirt sold it a uh, sweater for thirty dollars uh, this Ralph Lauren thing I uh, half zip fleece sold for twenty two uh, these Sorel boots I bought for six or seven, and I sold for sixty. And these Coach boots uh, I bought for three dollars, and they sold for sixty-five. So again, um, sorry about that. Uh, it depends on what what kind of game I guess, or what kind of business you're running. I'm kind of a slow and steady person, and I don't want to invest too much money and sit on too much inventory. So each of these items, like I said, were three to six dollars. Um, and there were, let's see, six of them, so that's no more than 20 bucks. So 20 bucks invested, sit on it for six months, and then it turned into over a hundred, two hundred dollars. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, some people are comfortable sitting on like an item that was a hundred dollars. Let's say you buy a one hundred dollar jacket and you're waiting for the fall to sell it for two hundred dollars. So it's, I mean, it's up to you what you're willing to, to sit on. Um, but if it's something small like three, four, five dollars, I'd say go for it, save it for the next few months, and then post it when it's the appropriate season. Because I remember when I got those coach boots, I posted them um, right when I got them in July, and someone offered me 20 bucks, and I knew they were worth a lot more than that. So I'm glad I waited um, and sold it for 65. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, returns. So I just have an example set up. I'll show you my Excel spreadsheet and uh, show you how I handle returns that I think saves me uh, money and headaches. Hey everybody, so here's my spreadsheet. Um, uh, in the first column here, you see that I describe what the item is, uh, how much I paid for it, how much I received after PayPal fees, how much it cost me to ship, and how much I had to pay in eBay fees. So for the Abercrombie jacket, I profited $24. Um, so this is how I handle a return. So let's say a buyer says, hey, this jacket that you sold me has a huge stain on it and I don't want it anymore. So in a normal return, the buyer would receive $45, but they would ship it back to me for $11. So really the buyer only gets $34 of their original $45 paid. Also, if I return it, if I, if I accept the return, I paid 35, three, uh, 50 for the jacket. I received no money because I refunded them completely. I shipped it for $11 because I, I still shipped it. I can't get that money back. And let's say I canceled the transaction. So I'm out $14.50 if I accept the return. Sorry about all the shaking um, with the camera. I don't have a tripod. Um, so what I actually do instead of eating up instead of accepting the return for that fourteen fifty, I know that the buyer will at max receive thirty four dollars in um, refunds because of the shipping. So what I do is I actually offer them a thirty four dollar par partial refund. I'm like, hey, can I just give you thirty four dollars back and you can keep the jacket or do what you want with it? That way you don't have to ship it back to me. But that's I mean it saves you time and and effort and all that. Um, and usually, buy, so far, the buyers have been very nice about it, and they accept this deal. And so what I do, let's see, I edit this. So it's like, essentially, I received 40, $43 minus the 34 that I'm refunding to them. 
and then I cancel the transaction in eBay so I don't have to handle these fees anymore, deal with these fees. So really, I lose $5.50 instead of $14.50 um, and I, because the jacket is worthless to me and has a huge stain, it's unlikely that I'll be able to sell it and make back this $14.50. So that's how I handle refunds. I just eat the $5 loss and move on with my life um, and f like go out picking and find a, a new item that doesn't have a stain. So that's my advice. That's how I do it. It's, I guess it's not really advice. It's more like this is how I do it. You can do it too if you'd like. Um, hope it was helpful and again I apologize for all the shaking.